so hello there uh Ivar's, Ivar by Ivar's fly workshop here um today we are going to tie a tube fly the first tube we are tying on the channel and i'm do doing with it doing it with a yeah relatively primitive equipment but uh, that's the best results i got actually tying on a press tube that's this way but uh, <clears throat> straight to the point uh, we start by attaching the thread to the shank of the hook and place it in the back there snip off the rest of the thread and the fly we are tying today or the tube fly is called snælta and snælta is an icelandic fly by a man named Grimur and the uh, Snælta is available in many, many, many forms. Uh, we name usually name the Snælta just by the color of the tail. So today I'm tying a German Snælta because the uh, tail will be in the same colors as the German national flag. Then we have like something like Brazilian Snælta and Blue Snælta and yeah, you can use use all all color combination combination as you like in the in the tail of it. But it, this fly has worked very well as a salmon tube. I've caught quite a few salmon with this fly. So I'm speaking of of my own experience, this is one of the tube flies which I will definitely take with me going salmon fishing in like like larger rivers and the tail uh, we are making is made out of bucktail so it's like uh, black yellow and orange bucktail pieces which we are using the bucktail is like it's a good good material you can actually <clears throat> if you're tying this nalta on a smaller scale like a smaller tube smaller brush you could technically use uh, something else like calf or even a squirrel squirrel but we'll stick to the bucktail it's like uh, like it is in the original the original pattern of the fly and we'll tie down the bucktail snip off the end of it and start to prepare the um, prepare the body of the fly it looks like on the on the sh like on the picture it looks like you know Messed, all messed up but this is all in full control <laughs> this is just the yeah, middle part of the fly so next step is to yeah get, get fasten down the um, rest of the fur and get the thread all the way up front and uh, by and by I have to take the tube and squeeze it like hard into the needle which is holding the tube. It's like, yeah, like I said, not the best equipment, but it goes. Like uh, The rib of the fly is an oval tinsel, and you see that the tube is just wiggles up and down and you have to be careful with it because if it's loose and you... Uh, if you let go of the bob and it will just roll down that have happened to me a few, few times and therefore you're always like making sure the tube is in place the reason why i'm using this sort of a equip equipment is simply that i do not have like a proper tube voice i don't time that many tubes but this will go and do the job uh, the body of the fly is made out of black wool and this black wool is something which I got from my mother. She knits quite a quite a lot, so I can like an easy access to some tying materials over there. And we attach the wool just by attaching it to the, to the to the body, and then we start to form the body of the fly. And just like any any time working with wool or aurora yarn or any kind of yarn. Um, you have to be careful this kind of a wool is like like it's loose enough so if you really if you put some tension on it it's gonna break so you have to be kind of careful with it not to breaking it 
but forming the body with it it's uh, fine and to get the ridges up there like this what you want you you simply have to turn the the thread or the wool thread around and then by that the body is going to stay in place uh, so this is almost ready then we will just lock that down the end of the wool and snip off that part and you see I'm holding the tube squeezing it harder on uh, I'm holding and holding the tube just in case so it's not gonna roll all, all away then we fasten down the uh, end of the end of the wool that formed the body and I'm just taking one round with the thread there just to secure all the wool in place then comes the silver oval silver tin so fasten that down this way there's a little bit of a fast forwarding there and then we secure the silver in place and snip off the end of it this flight doesn't maybe for us doesn't look you know as a proper fly but believe me it catches fish and it catches a lot of fish sometimes in yeah i had the best success with this fly in west Rankau, in iceland so we'll make the hackle of the fly out of a black rooster feather and we do it like this we snip off then the end of it end of the feather and then we have to stroke back like all the fibers of the feather like i've already done to like let them rise up and stay in that place and uh, when we attach the feather itself it's gonna be easier <clears throat> it's gonna be easier to work with for sure then we roll the feather around we wrap, wrap the feather around the uh, place where we are placing the hackle and we have to calm with our fingers the fibers of the feather backwards all the time as much as possible i know it's like uh, sometimes you, you you will miss some fibers some some of them are not going to be sticking in the way that we want them but we will correct them afterwards then we snip off the feather there when we have secured it down and as you see there are some few fibers like uh, going forward in the forward direction and to fix that we'll just have to take it all with our fingers and push it back try to get them in control and back and then place a place a few runs with our with our thread on it Let's hold it like that it's gonna it's gonna be like in its place if we keep on doing that and then we'll just build up the head of the fly with our thread and there is another video which is which i'm working on uh, there i'm gonna show how you like we say how you kind of like uh, prepare the tube before fishing because we have to put like a plastic tube inside it and melt and stuff and secure the ends and stuff that's gonna be another video on that how we do that it's very handy to know that when you're tube doing tubes so that's about it that's the snelta fly or the tube is ready so we'll do the finishing job just very quickly uh, then again uh, the only thing left then is to is to put some put some coat of varnish on the head of the fly but um, like i said to prepare the tube for fishing that's gonna be another video coming out very soon and that i will explain everything how we do that in the correct way so it's gonna be in place and not gonna be uh, sliding off or or, or or yeah getting loose or something so thanks a lot for watching you may please subscribe the channel like the video and share it um yeah we'll see you guys up and running and in the next video thank you